I am gonna do this video uh, for what British royals also compared me with. Yeah, they labeled me a gold digger. Uh, like the people did you see there in this documentary who uh, also all of them together with the jewelers have participated in MK Ultra, and so the British Royals came out as a well. Charles uh, was especially into this thing. He personally have investigated these issues, and when they deem something interesting, something was of their taste, something there was something interesting that went on. Uh, and in that case, they would give the green light for these documentaries. But otherwise, it's called the Deadliest Journeys, Eastern South Asia, Best of Bangladesh. This is in Bangladesh. Uh, again, I was brought to Bangladesh, I don't know how many times. Uh, God knows how many times, maybe a thousand times during MK Ultra. Uh, and British Royals <sighs> it's a hard subject very hard subject because it's it's unbelievable uh, what these people can do to one and did to me uh, the brazenness itself uh, on how far this lunacy came. Uh, well, they compared me with the people that you see right there that go at night time. And search for gold inside of the sewage, human sewage, uh, which gold deposits are left from a jeweler's uh, mixed with the excrements uh, inside of this uh, sewage channel. Uh, I, I think the, the poorest people in Bangladesh, I don't know who else would do stuff like this. Uh, however, do get in those channels at night time and they search for this you know, gold. Uh, and so what I want to say to you is British Royals came out as very nice people. Uh, the rich guy here at the beginning of this video, uh, like, like a tour guy that goes, uh, he took me to his village, all this stuff. Uh, let's see this stuff here. This guy here. Yeah, he works for three euros a day. Um, incredibly brutal world where he survives within. Uh, and this is what British Royals went ahead to example me about what life is and that I live in a luxury without appreciating it and should see how the earnest people make their money. But what's interesting to me, of course, that uh, stuff like this is uh, disturbing foremost was when they presented me with these people here that you see. Uh, digging inside of this canals for gold uh, and the story from the jewelers itself see this is this is a jewelers that were also involved in MK Ultra uh, and the entire street was really and they alone told me that they deliberately throw scraps of gold inside in that sewage so that the people can have something 
uh, just as is demonstrating the children how they take fruits from the from the market and so on um, and so let's see what uh, British royals have compared me with on how I should see myself as So that the people earn money like this and that I'm not doing anything <laughs> and even all the way to explaining me how they finance this kind of stuff. Uh, actually what the society is composed of, you know, mental illness, which you see here obviously is a mental illness. Uh, for which you can guess who is financing because yeah? you're gonna in this excerpt here which for which I was also even told you're gonna be able to discern between what a human poverty is and what insanity is like the guy is gonna say that <laughs> That's all he learned in life. Uh, and I find this extremely, extremely provocating because he is from very, very poor background. Obviously, he didn't have a chance to go to school and such. And when I think about British royals' involvement against me since my age four with the idea to destroy me, rip me apart. Uh, left me through every grade here in Slovenia, literally. You know, just allow me to get by a life, basically. Drag myself. And as soon as I finished this high school, already in the last grade of the grammar school is what I want to say, started a new game called the Cancer Game. Lymphoma Cancer Game. And number of injuries through which my life should be accompanied with uh, and you're demonstrating with this kind of stuff how people make their money the earnest the honest way suggesting to me that you're actually paying financing this stuff as i explained for demonstrating me they demonstrated they pointed me out what makes the society yeah and they refer to the society as a mental illness. I think it's beyond disgusting. Uh, yeah, I think that Bangladesh has the real problems. Uh, and these problems are within the people alone. You shouldn't have as many children if you can't afford and then spread your illness onto other neighboring nations, flood borders and across spill, this kind of stuff. Uh, where the gold is, where the wealth is, it's also extreme, extreme poverty lunacy, insanity, illness, sickness. And so let's see this excerpt.
British Royals came out as very nice, really nice people because they gave the rich a hundred dollars. That's a fucking money, you know, here's a hundred bucks for you. I'm very nice, right? I'm very nice. And then they give one again, one time, hundred bucks. And with a hundred bucks, if he pays three dollars a day, you can imagine how much did this guy uh, how beneficial this was to him right so this is very nice oh they make sure that the very nice uh, is very nice and you know very nice people man very very nice You know, I actually identify myself with this guy. I think this is a really beautiful movie. I realized that I was a gold digger. Exactly this man, basically, is what I was. Till I realized that I digged gold for those who made friend of my enemies to convince me not to become enemy of myself, basically, with idea to finally convince me, you know, well, we are on your side, you know, but this is basically how I digged for gold, for the British, for the royal, for the Dutch, for Thailandese and all these princesses, kings and queens. Something. And Milan Kuchan, for whom, or Borut Pahor, or Tanya Fayon, for whom uh, British would say, and they alone would say, have aligned themselves with the people like this, rather than with the royals. Do you understand the definition I stated right now? Something for which the people who call themselves in the past as communists, the people who worked for the greater Serbian Chetnik state, insisted throughout MK Ultra that rather than with the royals have aligned themselves with the poor people like this, with the people from the poor countries, yeah. Um, when in fact they were working in a swift genocide against me, I should say the British engaged in a swift genocide against me on their behalf. You see, they wanted me to take sides, yeah, to decide which is the one the British royals like don't align yourself. Uh, something 
that they have done to you, you know. Every side pointed out, they did, they do, they did, they do. But it became clear since my age four, they all worked together. This man who is digging for this gold and this shit, that's me right there. This is a mental illness right there that you see. And this is the mental illness that is produced by the British royals, by the royals, by elites such as Vladimir Putin, such as Tanya Fayon, such as Milan Kucha, and the people who declare themselves to be a communist. Because as I stated, they work all together. So, ladies and gentlemen, mental illness is what makes us, or at least some of us, funny that this guy is actually really wealthy when compared to me because this is a very, very wealthy guy. Because when you don't know much, when you don't go through much, you have no regrets, you know? You have no regrets. But depending on how much you invest to remain alive in life, A life becomes uh, that much of a bigger struggle. Something that, let's say, the Italian groom from the Prince Andrew's daughter never had to worry about. Or let's say the rugby player uh, that married another one. And, this, uh, and so on. The way they married, the way they they're built for one another. Uh, they need enemies like myself. They need mental illness. I'm talking about the communists and I'm talking about the royals. They need this shit. They need this. Don't you understand? They need. So they can affiliate themselves with one another and they can prove are a better option, a better choice for this world. If I'm really successful at it, then the guy like this, when he's born next time, and his colleagues are going to be entitled to a clean school, a clean facility, where he will study what I may be studying, some mechanical engineering, 
and will instead work towards prosperity, unlike the case was with myself when the British royals made me work against myself, even when serving throughout the military. So, if I'm really, really successful at it, and then the people like this eventually maybe are going to have a chance one day. That's a difference between him and me, but yes, I totally identify myself with this. Some people get as far as this, and some other people. Uh, we get even a chance to witness the ordeal through a biography 